subscribe the channel. Hello YouTube, welcome to the part 3 of the video in the series of speed control of induction motor using VFD. In the last part, we have seen how you can implement the VFD strategy using a MATLAB function. In this part, we are going to implement the same strategy that is the VFD into an inverter. So to control the inverter, we are going to use a technical SPWM, sign pulse width modulation. So for that, we need a MATLAB function again, double click this MATLAB function. And for the inputs, we need time and frequency. All right. We need to define our omega. That will be 2 pi times of frequency. R phase will be sine, sine omega times t. And this will be multiplied by a factor of frequency over 60. Similarly, we need to define our y phase. And B phase for the Y phase, you need to introduce a delay of 120 degree. Now everything is in radian, so convert that in radian. All right, looks good. Similarly, here 240 pi over 180, and let's change the signal name here B, and this will be Y. And this will go as output here. Output will be R, Y, and B. All right. So now we are generating three phase digital clock. And this digital clock will be connected to the time port. And the sampling time will be one. E minus 5 and frequency let's be constant okay we are getting some error okay the maximum frequency will be 60 and let's introduce a slider again Double click the slider again and the highest value should be 1. Now we are generating 3 phases out of this block. Now these, these 3 phases will be get compared with the repeating sequence. Double click the repeating sequence. Note down the values 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and finally 1. And they will all get multiplied by 1 over 5000. That should be the carrier frequency 0, 1, minus 1, and finally 0. All right. Now we have, we need to compare this, so we need a block called greater than. Similarly, we need three blocks. All these values will get compared with the repeating sequence. And now we need a NOT gate. For three phases, we need another two. All right. Type go to. We need six tags to control the six MOSFETs. You can change the name of tags like as to no one. Switch to six. All right. In order to observe these things, uh, we need a scope just to verify if we are doing the right thing or not. We will plot the repeating sequence versus any one phase. Alright, now finally we need to introduce a power GY block. 
with discrete time of 1 e minus 5 we getting uh, now let's see if everything works out I am just simulating one complete cycle and you can see over here this is the one complete cycle and we are comparing this with the repeating sequence when it is higher it will produce 1 and if it is lower then it will produce 0 ok that is how you are controlling a gate pulse in the next video we will take a inverter and feed these pulses and we will control the output of the inverter thanks a lot for watching the video please do subscribe the channel